Now let's look at managing files and folders in Google Drive. So because Google Drive is a place to store files and folders, it's important to know how you can keep them organized. First, let's talk about how you even get these files into your Google Drive in the first place. If you want to upload a file that you already have on your computer into your Google Drive, here's how you do it. Click New, File Upload. This will just take you into your Documents folder or one of them. You choose whatever folder you want. I'm going to choose a Microsoft Word document. This will be a recipe for Derby Pie. Now here's what's interesting. That's a Microsoft Word document and it's right there. It's put in alphabetical order. When I open it, it's going to show me a preview and then it'll ask me what I want to open it with. Now I don't have Microsoft Word online so I will just choose Google Docs since that's the most similar. And it'll take that document and it'll convert it to a Google Docs document. Now if I go back and look at my drive, I now have two versions of it. It created a new version of it in Google Docs and it kept the original in Microsoft Word. If I was just storing it in here to pass it along to someone else who has Microsoft Word, then I would keep this version of it. See, there's a little W there. If I just want to use it in Google Docs and edit it and keep it here forever, then probably what I would do is remove this. Here's how you remove a file. I could right click on it and click remove there and that would get rid of it. Or I can click on it here and just click that trash can there and that'll remove it too. Now with this same process, I can upload a PowerPoint and that would do the same thing. It would try to convert it to a Google Slides presentation. I could upload a PDF. I can upload a photo. If I want to create a new file, I showed you that in the last tutorial. You click New and you decide which of these apps you want to use to create a new document. So I could create a new Google Doc, a new Google Slides presentation, whatever. Now here's some other things you can do with a file once you have it in your Google Drive. If I right click on it, and on a Mac that would be Command Click, I can do a few things with it. I can preview it like I just did a few minutes ago. And this isn't really opening the file. I can't edit it this way, but I can take a quick peek at it. I can open it with Google Docs and it may give me other options depending on what that is. I could add a star to it. And the reason that I would want to do this, let's go ahead and add a star to this one. Now the reason you would put a star on it is because if you have starred a number of items, let's go ahead and star this Elvis one too then once you have lots and lots of documents, you can click over here to look at starred and it'll only show you the items that you actually have placed a star on. It just is another way of sorting through your documents. Another thing that you can do is rename the file. Say I want to call this Derby Pie Recipe, so I can go right in there and that's how you can rename it. You can also remember this little information thing up here. Well, that's also here. You can view the details on it, uh, talking about the file size of it, the last time it was modified, and that sort of thing. You can make a copy. Now, this is the equivalent of Save As in Google Drive. In a lot of the other programs that you might be used to, you might be used to being able to go into the File menu and do a Save As. They don't have that in Google Drive. The way you do it here is make a copy. So I click that and a new version of it is right over here and it will always be called copy of whatever that is. So if you want to give it a new name then you just rename it. You may want to download this back onto your computer. This is how you do it. I click on this and you'll notice that it converted it back into a Word document. I don't believe it does that for every type of file but it'll do that for a Word document because as far as I know Google Docs documents really only exist as Google Docs documents right on Google Drive. They have to be converted to something else in order for you to send them to someone else. And the last thing you can do if you want to completely get rid of something is to just remove it. I'll do that to the other Derby Pie. Okay. So once you start to get a lot of files, you're going to want to start organizing them into folders. The way you create a new folder, and these are already created, is you go to New, Folder. Let's call this one Recipes. To move items in and out of folders, one easy way to do it is just click on it and drag it in. And now if I go into recipes, it's there. This is a good time to take a look at these up here. People refer to these as breadcrumbs. It shows the trail that you've been on. So right now we're in the recipes. We can click back to the sample folder, which is what I've been looking at the whole time. If I click on here, that's going to show you everything I have stored in my own Google Drive, but I figured you didn't need to mess around with that for this. We could put it there. Now let's suppose I put it in the wrong folder and I need to move it back out. I can actually hold on to it here and drag it right into sample and it'll leave the recipes folder and it'll be back in the sample folder. Another thing you can do is actually move whole folders into folders. 
So I'm going to take this poetry folder and put it in recipes so you can see how that works. If I look in recipes now, poetry is in there, and then there are even files inside the poetry files. So you'll see it adds new breadcrumbs every time you go in a layer. This recipes folder is inside the sample folder. The poetry folder is inside the recipes folder. So if I go back, I'm in recipes. I go back, I'm in sample, and recipes is in there. Same deal. If I want to move the poetry folder out, take it grab it, move it into sample, and now it's not in the recipes folder anymore. One other thing that you can do to keep things um, organized is you can also star your folders. I could add a star to that poetry folder, and you can color code them. Let's say I really wanted my recipes to stand out to me. I can change the color to, let's say, orange. And as you can see, there are a whole bunch of color code, color options. So you could set up a whole system where uh, if you're doing these four classes and you have uh, like a bunch of science things that you want to do, you could color code all of them with a certain color and so on and so forth. You cannot color code the individual files, only the folders. So those are some of the ways that you can organize your files and folders in Google Drive.